Hi, Pedro. My name is Ellen, and I'll be correcting this essay for you today. I saw that you've taken IELTS in the past. It was quite a while ago. And um, so let's see where you are today, 2024, 11 years later. Um, so let's take a look at what you wrote. Uh, this is the one about ex-prisoners, and here's your essay. Nowadays, a great number of citizens argue that people who have transformed themselves after a period in a prison are the best ones to help preventing crimes among teenagers. I definitely agree with that, mainly because these people have experienced the crime reality and they are more able to convince other to not follow the same path. Okay, um, you've got the right idea in terms of the structure of your uh, introduction and the the content i i agree with what you've written here in terms of you know your your decision to make it nice and brief you rephrased the topic and then you said your opinion so that's uh a good job well done what i do have an issue though with is your grammar and your vocabulary so um let's look at it again to correct some of those mistakes Nowadays, a great number of citizens argue that people who have transformed themselves after a period in prison, not a prison, I didn't like this, are the best ones. I didn't love this expression. Um, you could have said, are the best people, even though that's what it says here. So maybe you want to change this language around a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Are the most appropriate? That would have been good. Um, are the most qualified? That also would have been good. So let's try that. Um, after a period of in prison, are the most qualified to help prevent crime. Crime as like a, a, a generic thing, not crimes that you can count, okay? Um, okay, and then, I definitely agree with that, mainly because these people have experienced, this is awkward, the crime reality. We don't really say something like this in English. We could say, uh, the reality of crime, maybe, or the consequences of crime, which is also a really good way to say this. So mainly because these people have experienced the consequences of crime and they are more able to convince, with an N, others, with an S, uh, not to follow, is a correct word order, the same path. And then that would have been better. So it's not like the mistakes are tragically wrong, but they're enough to keep you from getting into one of those higher band scores, okay? Remember that your introduction is kind of the examiner's first impression. So the examiner's gonna be thinking, okay, well, what am I dealing with? Where is this person, uh, you know, generally speaking? And so the introduction helps kind of orient the, uh, the examiner. All right, let's keep going. Here, here I can see it right away. This needs to be engaging. You need an ing here because it's your subject. Engaging young people in an educational conversation can be, this is awkward, we don't say this, significantly hard. We say very hard, extremely hard. You could say extremely challenging. Um, yeah, but definitely not significantly hard. These two do not collocate. They don't create a collocation. They don't go together. So engaging young, not youth, I just saw that you wrote youth. Engaging young people in an educational conversation can be challenging. Therefore, in order to talk about the dangers related to crime, comma, the communication must be highly persuasive. In this context, people who have committed crimes and have been in prison can talk with much more expertise and their own experience will probably cause a high, you don't cause an impression, you create an impression, okay? So we'll probably create a um, bigger, a bet, um, let's say, we'll probably, it created a, I'm trying to think of how it sounds more natural. Give me a second, let me think about it. Got it, okay, I don't want to be create either, I want to be make. So uh, we'll probably make a bigger impression on the audience so you make an impression on somebody that's the expression you want and i was trying to think about it i'm like why does it sound wrong so that's what you're looking for uh we'll probably make a bigger impression on the audience for example to talk about environmental crimes it's much more efficient to have someone who has 
been in the position of a criminal, say the details of this type of crime. I don't even know what an environmental crime is. What does that mean? Um, let me see. To talk about environmental crimes is much more, this is awkward in a lot of ways. First of all, I don't know what an environmental crime is. Second of all, you're not really saying anything different. You're saying it will create a bigger impression. And then the only thing that you're making more specific is the type of crime. Okay. So this doesn't really feel like a very strong example to me. Um, to make it a better example, I think you need to be more specific. So um, how about, for example, uh, when someone discusses uh, being incarcerated after uh, theft or dealing drugs and what the road back to society was, this creates um, a much more memorable experience for the young person listening. Okay, so that um, would be better. Okay, and then you could say much more memorable experience than hearing it from, I don't know, a police officer. Okay, because this is something else I want you to be aware of. Take a look at the question again. It says they are the, where is it? The best people, the best people. So best shows comparison compared to whom who are we comparing these people to all right so that's something else i want you to think about so you do want to compare them to police officers to teachers to parents to coaches to somebody okay so that would help make this even stronger let's keep going furthermore the citizens who have been involved uh in crime no look citizens know better that's your subject citizens so no all right, here you've got word order problems. So furthermore, the citizens who have been involved in crime know the negative sides of these activities better. Better than whom? Again, compare it to somebody. Who are you comparing it to? Therefore, they can explain to the young people, not the younger. You need younger what? So explain to young people what the consequences related no, this is grammar. Therefore, they can explain to the young people the consequences related to attitudes against the law. This is strange. You don't mean this, attitudes against the law, but what are the consequences related to breaking the law? That's the correct expression. Overall, crime, not the, Crime has important disadvantages in a citizen's life beyond the chance of going to jail. Drug crimes, for example, are commonly known with an N for the violence associated with them because it's crimes. And this can be explored by the speakers. All right, you spelled it totally wrong when talking to teenagers. All right, I like what you wrote. Again, I wish you would have compared it to somebody like who can't do this. Okay. Why are they better? Who are they better than in doing this? In conclusion, I believe that people who have been in jail are the best ones to talk about the hazards involving the, we don't say the crime life. We say criminal life. About the hazards involving, no, Ugh, let's see. Are uh, the best ones to talk about the hazards of Criminal life with young citizens, their own experience can be used to attract the audience says you need an apostrophe s attention additionally these sex prisoners know the causes and consequences associated with acts against the laws much better word order now again I'm going to say it one last time much better compared to whom okay so you've got the right idea but it's falling short consistently in terms of task achievement you're not um you're not doing what you need to do to get into one of those like top band scores in, in, in telling us who you're comparing them to. Okay. So you're telling us, yeah, they're the best. Yeah, they're the best, but you're just kind of leaving them there on their own, not telling us compared to whom. So I really wanted that consistently. Then of course you could see that there were a lot of grammatical mistakes, nothing that made it like impossible to understand, but it was enough to be consistent and uh, potentially keep you from getting into those top three band scores, okay? Uh, the vocabulary was all right. You had some issues with vocabulary. 
Um, so that is, um, that's some of the feedback I want to give you on this. Okay, so I see that you didn't send us a task one, but just this task two. So uh, that brings us to the end of this feedback. I think you've got the right idea. It's clear that you've been practicing for IELTS and that you're familiar with some of the things that you need to do. But I think there is um, some work that needs to be done in order to get you into one of those top scores. You have to work with grammar a little bit in kind of isolating some of those grammatical issues like word order. I saw word order was um, a problem like syntax, the way you organized your sentences. Um, that was a problem. And then there were some vocabulary uh, mistakes. And uh, of course, it was the issue of task achievement that I talked about. You didn't really quite um, support as well as you could have, as well as you should have. And also, you didn't quite compare, you didn't get into enough depth and, and really kind of grab the question. You did a good job of it, but it needed to be more, okay? So I want you to take a look at the uh, different ways to work with us. You'll see a link in the email with this uh, essay correction. And I really hope that we can work together um, because I think together we can help um, work on some of these areas that need uh, some improvement. Okay, hopefully we'll see more essays from you in the future. I want to wish you tons of luck.